This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here with another What's on My iPad video. I'm about to show you some of my favorite applications I'm currently running right now. And this is a games edition, so I'm going to be showing you all gaming applications today. But I'm going to start with the first app, which is called Icebreaker. Now, a couple months ago, I reviewed an application called Backbreaker, which is basically just the football version of this. And where you're trying to navigate against the different enemies or the, the other team without getting hit and trying to score a goal, or in this case, you're going to be trying to score the hockey puck and decide the goal itself. And so it has very nice visuals, as you can see here, just like the other game did. And actually, I think these visuals are a little bit uh, upgraded as well so you try to navigate by spinning around or sliding from left to right and just dodging the other players on the uh, on the uh, ice rink here and on the buttons today you see it's very easily laid out now what I'm doing right there is a showboat button and this allows you to gain a lot of points and you try to hold it as long as you can before you actually need to score before the goalie knocks you out and so on the uh, actual you don't want to do that and on the uh, hockey rink itself, you see that there's little things laid out on the ground there. There's a 500 point market there. Sometimes it's going to be 100, sometimes it's going to be 200. And if you roll over those, you get those points. So that can kind of um, help you navigate around the ice rink. So you can just choose a straight path to the goal, or you can try to get rack up as many points as you can. That'll help you upgrade and uh, go through and unlock as many levels and teams as you can. And so some levels are going to have these little orange barriers there. If you hit those, then the game is over. But you don't want to show both for too long, or you'll get your but knocked out just like I just did right there. All right, the next game I'm going to show you today is called Spirit HD. And this has a Geometry Wars type of feel. And I know a lot of people remember that game. That game was very popular, especially when it first came out uh, for the Xbox 360. But anyway, this game, you're trying to uh, draw a, a circle with your character there and try to suck all the enemies into these kind of um, black holes here, even though they look white. So I call them white holes in this case. Um, no jokes. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> you try to draw them into the uh, those white holes or the black holes. Really, I think they change color with the level, so I'm failing right here. Um, but you try not to hit any of the enemies, and uh, or you'll die, of course. You get about three lives starting off. Now, the game itself, again, does get more challenging once you get a lot of uh, enemies on the screen. But if you get tired of that game mode, you can go to this game mode. It's called Pulse. And this is the one I actually have the most fun playing. We're just trying to hit those little circles at the right time to suck up as many enemies as you can. And then those enemies emit these little yellow orbs that float around. And you gain those uh, you, or you gather those up and you get more points and things like that so overall this game I think it's a fun game very simple game if you're any type of fan of Geometry Wars I think you'll be a fan of this game as well uh, the next thing I'm about to show you is a free game, so don't expect too much out of it, but it's called Extreme Road Trip. So if you ever played the game Tiny Wings on your phone, which you haven't, I recommend that game. But you're basically trying to navigate the bird as far as you can in the level before the sun rises. And it sounds stupid if you've never heard of it. Um, and if you hit the hills just right, you gain a lot of hang time, and you'll be able to go a lot further in the stage. Which is, this game is very similar to that, but you just have a car or a truck. And so it only has two buttons, one on the left-hand side, which makes your car rotate backwards, and one on the uh, right-hand side, of course, make your um, car rotate frontwards. And so so um, if you do a lot of tricks in the air and you, you stick your landing as best as you can, you'll gain a little boost. And again, that'll help you get through the stage a lot further without wasting um, that much gas. So the game, again, is very simple. Really nothing else to it. There's no other things you can do besides um, buy you know, more cars via in-app purchase in this game. I just bought this monster truck for about a dollar. Yes, that's a lot of money for this. Uh, but I think for like $2, you unlock all six of the cars or something like that. So anyway, this is, again, it's a free game. Again, don't expect too much out of it. But this is a game, another game that will help you waste some time. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, now we're about to move on to my favorite game of this video, and this is called Anomaly War Zone Earth HD. Now, this game has been the iPad game of the week, it has won some Apple Design Awards from Apple themselves, of course. That's the name of the award. Uh, but this game is a really, really fun game. Kind of, if you play any of those type of tower defense games, this is kind of like tower offense. It puts you on the offensive in this game. All right, so starting the game up, you have to go choose the level that you want to play. And just everything with the game as far as the design, the layout, the menu system, everything is just very pleasing to the eye and just very functional. But anyway, um, once you start the level, you need to pick the vehicles that you want and kind of put them in the, the right order that will be best suited for the level. And then you need to choose your own path. And this is very important. So some missions may have you, um, uh, you have to take out certain targets, like that little target that's had that little yellow thing rotating there. I need to take out those. Um, so you need to make sure your path goes around all the different areas and gives you the best um, chance to take out those things but then after you get done setting your path you hit that button it drops you right in the action so the things that are dropping right now from the drop ships are a one that makes a cloak and one another one that helps to repair your vehicles again those are going to be very important for you to actually accomplish your goal so you can zoom in my pension is zooming and now one of the enemies is uh, attacking me so i'm putting up the cloak um, little uh, power up there and this kind of gives the uh, the enemy a hard time trying to track on to you but they still can hit, hit you they'll be shooting randomly but it gives them a lot harder time to try to take you out 
You can also fast forward through the game. It's a little fast forward button at the bottom right hand corner. But every time you kill an enemy and sometimes randomly they'll do a little drop off, a drop ship would drop off one of those power ups. So you got to really make sure after you kill somebody to check to see if they do that because that's going to be the only way you're going to survive. And uh, so the game has really good graphics. Again, the graphics are pretty good. Uh, the controls are very intuitive. And also this little power right there, that's the uh, repair power that's going to help repair my vehicles. Um, so the more you progress through the game, the more different uh, types of power ups you get. All right, so the one I'm showing you right now is to be able to put a decoy out there so the enemy can go ahead and shoot that and you can try to take out the enemy before they realize that it is a decoy or before they destroy that one and at any time during the game itself you can hit the uh, map button to see exactly what you have coming up um, in your path that you've chosen now also through some of the levels here the more money that you begin to rack up by collecting different things on the map you'll be able to buy more vehicles and that's going to help you in case you um, lose one of your, in your your teammates in the battle itself so again this game is pretty fun and you can check this out on the iPad and also on the iPhone as well and I think a lot of people have a lot of fun out of this but alright guys we almost at the end of this video but before we head out here it's going to take one us look at our sponsor for this video and that is Jack the Reds and Jack the Reds is an exclusive in the fight only club you can get a, a very good discount on a lot of different clothing brands you get up to like 80% off sometimes so they have like Hurley they have Stussy they have Kid Robot they have a good amount of different clothing lineups that I think a lot of people will find they have some cool sunglasses and um, watches I believe they have in there a lot of different things I think you'll find to be able to put in your wardrobe and get your geek on and your Mac on in the club and really not look like a geek totally you don't want to do that but anyway you can head over to jacktherest.com forward slash skb and that'll bring you right into the club so anyway guys definitely check that out but also too please leave a comment Comment down below but what you think about all these applications I did show you in this video and also too if you have any recommendations please let me know as well and again thanks for watching guys and I will catch you later peace